everybody. Welcome to our channel. Hey, Quinn, do you want to go for a hike? Yeah, sure. Where? I got a great idea. I heard a great place to go for a hike is the Grand Canyon. Oh my goodness, yes! The Grand Canyon is over 277 miles long. Hmm, maybe that's not such a great place to go for a hike. Hmm. How about we just walk to the mailbox and see if there's any mail? Yeah. But what about the Grand Canyon? Let's learn about the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon is located in the state of Arizona, and it's considered one of the seven wonders of the world. It is a massive canyon of red rock. Many people believe that the Colorado River started carving the Grand Canyon about 6 million years ago, but a 2012 study showed something absolutely amazing. The study suggests that the process may have started as far back as 70 million years. <laughs> Most likely, the Grand Canyon started as a series of much smaller canyons 70 million years ago. But most of the Grand Canyon did not start to take shape until much more recently. The grounds of the canyon has a diverse landscape. The floor is made up of dried up desert areas that can heat up to 120 degrees Fahrenheit as well as forests where temperatures sometimes drop to negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow! The Grand Canyon is over 277 miles long and over one mile deep in some areas. And some areas are as wide as 18 miles and they continue to grow wider because of the Colorado River flowing through it. The narrowest part of the Grand Canyon is called Marble Canyon. There are over 40 various layers of sedimentary rock found in the Grand Canyon, such as sand dunes, schist rocks, and even limestone. The rocks found here are 200 million to 2 billion years old. And the rock located at the base of the canyon is called schist. This is a type of metamorphic rock that's about 2 billion years old. Even though this rock is older than dinosaurs, they've never found any dinosaur bones there. But they have found the bones of an 11,000 year old sloth. I'm not old, I'm just tired. Wait, I might have known him as well as marine fossils and animal tracks too. And some of the structures of the Grand Canyon happened from shallow seas that were warm, as well as swamps that developed on the land many, many years ago. Some people also guess that glaciers helped to form the Grand Canyon as well as volcanoes that might have played a part too. Many animals live in and around the enormous canyon. These include elk, bison, desert bighorn sheep, as well as tassel-eared kaibab squirrels. The Grand Canyon has also been home to humans. What about like, me? The first people that lived in the Grand Canyon were the Pueblo Indians. They lived at the canyon over 3,000 years ago. They lived in various caves so that they would survive as well as have shelter. The caves were separate rooms carved out of the rock walls of the canyon. Now, Native American peoples, such as the Havasupai, live just outside the edges of the Grand Canyon National Park. 
Did you know that the first person to scientifically explore the Grand Canyon was John Wesley Powell? He explored the Grand Canyon in a wooden boat in 1869 and gave it its name, the Grand Canyon. This place is amazing. I think I'll call it the Grand Canyon. Ever heard of Grand Canyon National Park? Well, Grand Canyon became a national park in 1919. It's the 17th national park the United States declared as a park. So what can you do at the Grand Canyon? The robots in there, so many activities! Do step class, it's making my head spin how many activities we can do. People visit the Grand Canyon from all over the world. In fact, more than 5 million people come each year to see the Grand Canyon. But be careful when exploring the Grand Canyon. It can be very dangerous. Sadly, over 600 people have died at the Grand Canyon in the past 150 years. Some people get dehydrated and dizzy and then fall because the canyon has very dangerous parts. Did you know that there's a town inside the Grand Canyon? And that town is called Supai Village. It's the most isolated town in the continental United States with a population of just 208 people. The Grand Canyon also has a huge mystery. <laughs> That's true, Quinn. There is a geological phenomenon in the Grand Canyon known as the Great Unconformity. Ready for that mystery? You see, there are layers of 250 million year old rock that rest right on top of 1.2 billion year old rocks. But nobody understands what happened to the hundreds of millions of years of missing layers that should be there too. Here's something cool. Did you know that the Grand Canyon has pink snakes living there? Hmm, I wonder if they like blue minkle monkeys like me. Mm. They're called the Grand Canyon pink rattlesnake. Genius, genius, genius. And they're only found in the Grand Canyon. This is just one of six rattlesnake species that live within the Grand Canyon. The snake's pink color allows it to blend in with the rocks around it, making it almost invisible to tourists as they explore the Grand Canyon. And last, but certainly not least, no one can truly agree what the Grand Canyon looked like millions and millions of years ago. All we know now is that the Grand Canyon is not only an incredible thing to see, it's also one of the seven wonders of the world. Hey, did you like this video? Hey, did you learn something new? then don't forget to sub and smash that like button. And we'll see you on the next Hey, Guess What? Boom!